Hi, I'd like to review the signs on the standard reduction potential. Remember, our symbol for that is the E naught. Um, so when you have a positive E, that means it's spontaneous. A negative E means it's non-spontaneous. And what does that really mean? I want you to remember that the E value, that standard re reduction potential, keyword there is potential, a potential energy. And the unit that we use for that is volts, okay? Um, so I want to go back to my, um, my little analogy with a water, um, with a water, well, a river with water. Um, this is what I used when I discussed units for electrochemical cells. Um, here's what I want you to picture. We have a river. <clears throat> the river begins up here and it ends down here. Um, it's going to be, honestly, the force of gravity that makes that water move. There's not a pump at the top of the mountain that pumps water and forces it down the mountain. The water moves by itself. That is a potential. And I want you to think about um, this energy, the E naught, this voltage, as a potential. It's the height of that river. How high is that? That's what pushes the water. Um, and so when we say spontaneous, it means that the electrons move without intervention, just like water at the top of the river moves on its own. Um, now, if it's not spontaneous, think about this. It's just opposite. It's going to be, I have water at the bottom of the river, but I, I think, oh, I don't want water at the bottom of the river. I want to bring it to the top. So what do I have to do? Get a bucket, scoop some water, and I trek up that mountain. That is non-spontaneous. It's the reverse of the potential um, of this positive and negative means we're forcing the electrons to go back, to go back up. Um, so in my mind, that, that kind of helps contextualize it. And I'm speaking from somebody that, I'll be honest, I struggle with physics. I struggle with electricity because it's so abstract for me. Greatly understand chemistry, love chemistry. This right here is a stretch for my brain. So I have to have this mental picture of, oh yeah, voltage is potential. I'm just thinking the height difference of water running down a mountain, a positive E, the water naturally flows, electrons naturally move. And remember when electrons move, that creates current, which is electricity. But the negative E is backwards, okay? This would be like recharging the battery where I have to put energy in to make the electrons move backwards, move back up that, that mountain. So that's what the negative E is um, for the potential that we have to put energy into making those electrons move. Um, Okay, so I've given you an example with zinc. We have a half reaction for zinc. You can see here, uh, we've got our two plus and a zero oxidation number, two plus to zero, I'm down by two, I'm at a perfect zero, gains electrons, okay? So this is going to be my reduction. When I flip that reaction, this is oxidation. We're going from zero to two plus, this is going to lose electrons. Now look at our standard reduction potential together. Here as reduction, that's a negative E, it's a negative 0.76. So what that tells me, in order to go from zinc taking in, okay, that it's going to gain two electrons, I have to force it to do that because it's negative. It's like carrying water up the mountain. I have to, for, I have to put energy into this. Force this to gain electrons requires energy because the potential difference is negative. I have to pull that water up, bring, force the water to go back up the uh, mountain. Now here, when it's oxidation, uh, check it out, positive 0.76. That tells me that this will go from zinc to zinc two plus. It will lose two electrons by itself. That's like the river going from top to bottom, that naturally the water flows. Naturally, zinc will lose two electrons. Um, and I don't have to force it, it does it by itself. Um, one last thing, remember here um, that we um, have a conservation of energy, so the energy required in the reduction is going to be the same energy, the same potential, um, but opposite sign, and the energy released. So these numbers, they just change signs. If naturally the potential, and really it, potential is height of the river, honestly. So um, if naturally the potential is 0.76 to lose electrons, then to force the electrons back up is going to be 0.76.
Um, let me give you another example, just on uh, potential. I wanna give you another value. Okay, I'm just picking one randomly here. Here is flooring. Ooh, this is a good one because it's so big. This is the um, reduction of fluorine. So fluorine gas plus two electrons is going to give me two fluoride ions. I look at the potential on this. E is a positive 2.87. 2.87 volts. Okay, so what's the difference between this? I'm using the word energy, and honestly, it's not energy, it's a potential. Energy is joules, and you'll remember that um, joules equals volt time, or voltage times coulombs. So it's the potential times the charge, that's energy, okay? Here, E is just the potential. So what's the difference between a 0.76 and a 2.87? Height of the waterfall. It, or height of the river. Um, so if right here, for my zinc, for it to lose, for it to be oxidized, its height is 0.76, that would be the potential. Okay, that's what pushes the electrons to move is that height. But if I have a 2.87, whoa, that's a greater potential. So greater push, more pressure, if you will. Sometimes my husband, he's an electrical engineer, he'll say, think about voltage like air pressure. We have an air compressor. Um, and I push the button and it sprays out air, you know, that I could fill up a tire or something like that. Um, he said, you have this potential that pushes like pressure. So here I have 0.76 push here. I have, wow, 2.87 push that voltage that pushes and moves the electrons potential. That's all wrapped up in the word potential. So the more positive it is, the greater the potential, the greater the, the, <clears throat> the push, that spontaneous moving of electrons, pushing electrons. And for me, again, because this is abstract, I think about a river and water. Um, there was one last thing that I wanted to give you. Um, when we are talking about standard conditions, just want to remind you, standard conditions for uh, thermodynamics, they're going to be similar, excuse me, for electrochemistry, they're similar to thermodynamics. Um, so I want to remind you that it is, for standard, because of this knot right there, is going to be 25 degrees C, which of course is your 298K, um, one bar. Remember, 1.01 bars equals one ATM. Those are really close. And one molar. That's significant because when we have our um, half reactions in the cell, our electrochemical cells are half cells, um, those concentrations, if we're at standard condition, conditions have to be one molar. Okay, so there you have it. An explanation, interpretation of the signs on standard reduction potential. Now, I have a ton of videos on redox and electrochemistry. If you have other uh, questions, please go to the redox electrochemistry playlist. Good work and have a wonderful day. Thank you.